Hello, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of drugstore testing out makeup. Um, I got a whole bunch. I went to CVS the other day and I got a whole bunch of different drugstore. Things that recently came out lately and things that have probably been out but I haven't tried. And a lot of it was from L'Oreal. I haven't tried a lot from that brand and they came out lately with the Age Perfection line. So I got the Titan Balm, which looked like this, don't mind the glare. And I got mine in Light Claire. And this is what it looked like. Also got the um, Age Perfecting Blurring Primer. The concealer, the lip products, lip liners. They didn't have really the mascara, but I am going to try out the um, CoverGirl Lash Blush Mascara. I don't think I've tried anything. I have tried CoverGirl products, but I haven't really tried Lash Blast. I'll, I did the clean version of it. I've done the um, all that, so... But this is in the purple tube. And this is what it looked like. Same as the clean one. And this is actually in brown. Which I don't really wear brown mascaras. But I really wanted to try it. And that's the only kind they had. And all that. Also, try out the sponge from the Glam Lake Hershey Kisses collection that they recently came out with. I did get the palette, so if you guys want to um, see anything or do swatches, or me try it on, I did get the Hershey Kisses collection. I bought that myself because you guys know I love Hershey Kisses, my favorite chocolate. I'm a chocoholic, so. But I am going to try the sponge. Also going to try the recent concealer came out by NYX, which is the Bear With Me. And I got mine in shade something. Oh, vanilla. So yeah, I'm going to use the um, Age Perfection Concealer by L'Oreal on one side and that on the other side. Just to compare and see how it works. Also got the newish lip Bombs by the Lawyer Paradise. See that? And it's the Item Beauty palette. This is like a natural all the daily eyeshadow. So I'll be using some of these shades and everything. So I did do my eyebrows. I did prime my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the shade and all of that. But I'm also going to be using the Bite Size Orange Dream Sickle eyeshadow palette by e.l.f. I have like two or three of these. I have used it. Beautiful. I love them. They're like nice, easy, quick. You could bind a lot of them together. So I'm going to go ahead and do the eyes first since it's always set, primed and all that. And let's go ahead and get done. So I'm going to use the light shade in this palette which is called um, a lot, a lot. So I'm going to use that. Probably always been the glam light, and I'll bring you zoom you guys in for at least the eye look. So I'm just gonna take that and I'm just gonna use it to pretty much start in the crease and just start doing the eyeshadow look. It feels it looks very pigmented, so I haven't used this palette. I don't know anything about the brand item beauty so I figured since I have it and everything and I'm just out somewhat drawer drugstore makeup and this line that L'Oreal has I figured Mara just you know put it in the price is not that expensive so yeah but I will do like actual full look using a lot of these shades I just want to do something light and airy and everything so I got mostly like pinky purpley type shades and everything and I want to do like you know springtime look or things like that so I kind of want to make this like a neutral type eyeshadow with a pop of color to kind of counteract the 
pink and purple brownie shade in the lip product. Also got the two lip gloss lip shades from the Age line. So um, I'll show you guys that. I'm not gonna put all this on. I'm just with come to the lips because you know you can't do that. So I'll just do swatches of lip products. I did swatches of the lip gloss. But I'll do swatches of the lipsticks. I will put the lipstick in the lip gloss. And I'm going to put a little orange, mix a little orange in it. So I'm going to do red a dye. And then we're going to move over to the e.l.f. palette. The bite size palette. And just um, use that to do... This is like deepening up pretty good as you guys can see. Very beautiful. I mean, so far I look like they're blending out. I haven't used any of the deeper shades, but what I am using is not that bad. Almost kind of give me that sunset mixed with the two shades. This does got some kickback, but not as much. And don't mind that we have motorcycles to live around where I live. And unfortunately, <laughs> they tend to do that. So. Now that that done, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the e.l.f. palette. And I'm just going to use my Beauty Bew brush, which look like this. And I'm just going to use this very, only, the only matte shade in this to give it more like a palette. I'm going to use this matte shade, which will be perfect for um, everything. So, go ahead and use that. Just to give it some vibe. So this is almost going to be like an orangey type sunset. I might use like one of the deeper shades. Just to deepen it up a little bit. But I don't want to go too far. Okay. So this will be good like for the colors. Because this would be like more like a pinky, brownie, neutral type shade. And especially with what I'm working with in the lip products that I want to try out definitely will work so I'm just going to take a little bit of the deeper shade which is glam light and just do a little bit on the outer corner which is this shade right here and just do a little bit on the I will not begin anything from that mainly because my situation has changed financially to a point where my pay period is changing and I guess earn my money now and that has to go towards you know rent bills take care of the kids getting stuff for the apartment you know things like that but this is what it look like I think it's very pretty so I'm going to take a clean book my favorite clean blush brush, which is this, and just clean the edges, and make sure it look nice and clean, and all of that. So, but yeah, because of my circumstance, I will not be getting anything from Sephora sale, but I will after I film this. We'll be doing a recommendation, telling you guys, you know, what I bought this year, what I've liked, enjoyed, and what you guys should get, and what, I mean, if you have, like, certain type of skin, or anything like that, so, yeah, I'm just gonna take my finger, and I'm just gonna use, like, this shade right here in the middle, and just put this all over my lid, and that, what the shade look like, very beautiful, but I feel like that it's not coming out the way that it should be coming out. Usually I don't have trouble with these palettes. They do a very good job, you know, blending and everything. But unfortunately, for some odd reason, it's not. So I'm going to just spray my brush and get wet. And we're going to see if it works like that. do this on the other eye. I don't know if that's working. I'm not sure I went to the, like the deepest shade. I think I'm going to do that. So let me go ahead and use this other brush so I won't lose what I have on 
the outside. And I'm just going to go into like the deepest shape next to it and see if that works. I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush some more. And let's go into the deepest shade. And hopefully this works a lot better. I think this is by like a top of shade. Not really, you know, wow, let's get this done type shade. Okay, I'm going to make it with this. Usually I don't have problems with these elf bite shadows. I mean, all the time they are really good. But this one right here is like not even working. Like, it's getting patchy around here. Hmm, this is weird. This is not normally how it works. So, this may be my least favorite eyeshadow palette, mini eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. I'm going to have to try this out and see, you know, what the deal is, why, if it's, you know, doing that. But I am going to wipe off some of the fallout because I... Hmm, that's weird. Okay, so I'm going to have to keep trying this out and keep seeing, you know, what the deal is and why that palette is working. Because I'm telling right now, I have all these rest of these um, palettes and everything. And I'm telling right now, it looks good. But it doesn't look as good as it can be. Because the other palettes, they do a good job. So I'm just going to use this shade right here called Must. And put that in the inner corner. Actually, before I do that, I want to do my face and everything before I finish. So, because I do have head, so let's go ahead and get a face. So one side I'm going to be doing the um, brush. The other side I'll be using a sponge. So let's go ahead. I'll zoom you out, and I'll finish the eyes after I get done with my face and everything. So let's go ahead and do the primer. Let me get all of this. Um, Stuff off of my hand first because I don't want any more um, fallout on me while I'm trying to do this. So, so yeah. So the first thing I picked up from the Age Perfection line was the Bluey Face Primer. I was going to do a whole video on this, but they didn't have like the mascara or uh, really. They only had like face products, lip products, lip liners. They really didn't have no eyeliner, anything like that. So I just picked up what I could so I could combine the rest of the stuff. But this is a blurry face primer fused with Kara Sorum. So, so I got mine in 00, which is rose. And I'll show you what the consistency looked like. It's very, feel like it looked like silicone. So it's like a pink, has like a pink consistency. And it feels almost like a silicone in a way. You guys can see, don't mind the light. It's very sunny. It's finally, okay, the thing about this weather, which I'm trying to figure out. So I'm just going to take a little bit and just dot a little on my finger and around my face. Because I don't know how much to put on. It feels very... It looks silicone, but in a way it doesn't feel like silicone. So, it's soft, focused, affecting, healthy look, complexion infused with fine lines, improved skin appearance over time. So, we will see... I mean, it doesn't feel like silicone. It looks like it, but it doesn't feel like it. And it feels very smooth, very soft. Like, it's just giving my skin a, you know, extra hydration, extra glow, aiming out everything, looking everything look good, and all that. So, we will see. Let's see how my skin. So, so far, so good. I mean, besides the freaking fallout, which I'm not happy about. And again, the other palettes on this does not really have any fallout. So, I don't know what they did with this 
one. I thought it would be cool for like spring and summer since it's orange and... Okay, I am back. Sorry for that. My cousin actually called because next week is my birthday when you guys are actually seeing this on the day of my birthday. So my cousin just called wondering what my mom's cell number because apparently she's going to be coming by and getting my birthday present. So let's go ahead and get back. So yeah, this looks really good. I'll be getting to this stuff out off camera. It feels very hydrating, very smooth. It went on like nothing so I'm curious to see how this works I'll test I'll test out with different foundations and all that and now let's go into this now this when I swatch it looked very deep for me but I tried to pick out colors that are like between light to medium because I'm not really fair but I'm not really dark either and I'm not really tanned I mean, I get a little bit colored during spring and summer when the sun's out, but that's it. So, the first half I'm going to be doing with a beauty blender or a Hershey blender. Again, if you guys want to see anything from the Hershey Glam Light line, the collection, I could do swatches, looks, whole nine yards, and all that. So, so this will look like a little jar. So, I'm going to take some probably on this. Look how big this is. <laughs> It's almost big my face. But I'm going to take some, do it on this side, and then I'm going to use my brush that I love using when I use, sometimes I use um, this brush foundation, but it's the Ultimate Blending Brush by e.l.f. And do the first half, and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to do this. Okay, so, so far, this is good. So far, it's a very light coverage. I mean, I still see my skin peeking through. I still feel like that, you know, I have skin. So, I'm going to try the brush and see which one I like. And then I will finish, you know, do all that. And what is not new, while well, I'm not trying out, uh, testing out, I'll fast forward. Like the, this is mostly just, you know, facial products and all that. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Take a little bit on my spun, on my brush, and we'll go on the other side and see which one I like the best. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more because I think I like the brush better. Like, can you see the difference? Like, it gave me a nice glow. Like, you will get a nice little glow, but I don't mind it. Because I know during the summer, anyone wants that glow. But it is a very light one. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to really cover up anything. And with it being like a natural type, you know, foundation and all that, it's supposed to give you a nice glowy skin. I don't think it's really meant to like cover anything up like blemishes or wood spots or anything like that so you might not like you know the coverage you may not like you know the um foundation or even the primer but this is like good for like nice natural days like we don't want anything it does feel heavy at all like it feels like very light type skin so I'll definitely be tested out I think I like it better with a brush than I do a um, sponge but we will see and I will try this and I will give you my guys updates on everything so don't worry about that next let's do the Xilla so on the one side why did um so this side I will be doing the Age Radiant Concealer and I got my vanilla and the other side I'll be doing this. Now I think this is vanilla and this one is New Beige. So hopefully it's the same, you know, color. But yeah, so. And this will look like... Oh yeah, it should do good so that will look like it may look like I've used a lot but it came out like this it was sealed so I don't believe anyone you know tried to use or test it 
but I'll do one at a time and see how it looks. So I'm just going to do a little dot. I like doing dots around here and I'll do dot around there. And probably we'll do here because I want to make sure that, you know, that we'll do a little bit there. And I'm going to use the sponge for this. Sometimes I like using the um, brush, but I'm going to try the tip of the sponge and see how. I like the brush with a lot of this because I feel like that with it being radiant and everything, it just evades light. Okay, let me try the other side and then I might build this up a little bit because I know that the bed mineral I saw with you and everything is um, more full coverage. Sealer. This might be a little bit different. It's fine. Okay, so let me try this. I might just try mixing them. Yeah. I think I'm going to try mixing each one and see how that works. There we go. Never hard to mix. They're almost the same shade except the L one is more yellow. So... I'm going to go ahead and we'll just blend both together and we will see how. I kind of like both. So yeah, I'm going to have to try this out on its own by itself. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and powder my face and everything. And this is why I'll be fast forwarding and everything because the rest I have is lips. Then we'll come back with mascara and the rest of it. So, okay, now that I have everything on blush, highlight, bronzer, all that, my face is actually looking pretty good. Like the highlight look good, the blush look good, the foundation I sprayed it and actually looks good, giving me back that glow. But a very good within type glow like I don't feel oily I don't feel greasy very lightweight so let's go ahead and do finish the eyes so before I do that I'm going to take the must in the inner corner so I'm gonna put this so We'll see. Again, I'll try this stuff out in different ways. I will use a primer different way, the foundation with different primers, you know, see, still test out the bare mineral and the other one. But personally, I think I like the bare mineral one because I feel like that it gave me a lot more coverage than the um, L'Oreal one. So I guess, you know, if you guys really want that natural, everyday look with the natural glow and just, you know, your skin better and more even and natural, then this will be a great line for you and everything. So, especially if you're older. So, I'm going to try this mascara. I know it's in black, but again spreads it out you guys can see so and I don't mind the black brown actually it's not my typical thing I would use for my eyes you know definitely would not do a black brown when it comes to masking I anything like that so again look so but if you put too much on it it will look a little clumpy but I just put enough to make my eyes go fluttery and everything, so I do like it. Okay, next is lips. So I'm going to take off my lip balm that I have on. And we're going to try out some lip products. So I'll go ahead and swatch the two lip products from the line. This is actually called the um, Age Perfection 
line. So this one actually has the um, little thing in the middle, the white thing, and this one is in beautiful rosewood, which is more like a pinky. And this, the reason you have it because it makes the lips more balmy, more smooth, more hydrating, and everything. And then I got the shade Radiant Bronze, which this is called the actual lipstick. So this is more like a lipstick balm, and this is more like a regular, you know, lipstick. But they don't, they both feel smooth, both feel good. So, that's that. And then, for the lip liner, this is called the Age Perfect anti Feathering Lip Liner. So, the two shades I got is Bold Ultra and Nude Pink. Now, I tried to find lip lines actually close to the shade, which I did. But I think I'm probably going to do like the new pink one because, um, so these are the two lip liners here and here. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do the way my eyes are. I think I'm going to do, you know, give me a little pink because I do like the brownie more than I do like the pink. So we're going to do nude pink. And I'm going to line my lips. They feel very, again, creamy. So. Kind of line all the way in. Almost like my lip color I'm better. In a way. This will look like kind of look like my lips and better. So I'm gonna do this one right here, which is called Radiant Bronze. And then we will put a lip the lip balm on top. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna work. Very, very, very creamy. Okay, so let's go ahead and we will do that. And I think for this, I kind of put on the like the pinky more shade because this brown one almost matches. So let's go ahead and do that because it almost matches what my lip liner is. And I like this better with the look. So these are lip balms. It's kind of make my lips more glossy like this. So again, I'll be trying this stuff out on its own without any, you know, extra product and things like that. But with a very smooth, very high drain, probably ain't gonna last for a long time because everything is so creamy and all that. So this ain't gonna be like a long lasting lip product. The way I swatch, the way I line, except for the line line liners may last a long time but the lip product because they're very creamy they're very beautiful I mean they're very hydrating like you know very hydrating lips but I'm gonna go ahead and get my glasses and everything and this is why I always lose my glasses which is pain in the butt so one last spray Just to give it a whole new look. And this is my final look. Okay, so let me go ahead and go through everything and show you guys what I like, what I didn't like, and things like that. So first of all, I really do like the primer. Primer, very smooth, very um, like pore filling type thing. It feels 
it just made my foundation on the balm go on smoothly. The balm I really do like. I like it better with a brush. I feel like with the sponge it just soaks up a lot of product. And I like it with the sponge. It's very creamy and all that. And I like the color. Actually matches me pretty well. And when it comes to concealers, I think I'm like, again, like I said, I like the bare mineral one because I feel like it did more coverage. I feel like that is a bad color for me. And it just blend out very good. I like this to blend out the um, foundation. But I feel like it soaked up a lot of it and I feel like that like I don't like using the ends of this because it's just too small. So I'm going to keep trying this out with other foundations also. But the Casilla, I like the bare metal ones a little bit more better. It's more, it's creamy, like both of them are very creamy, both of them are very blendable. But I feel like that this one gives a little, slight more coverage. And I definitely like the lip products. They're very smooth, very creamy, feel very high drain. I can't wait to try the lip balms by itself. And the lip products by itself and everything. The only thing that I really was not a big fan of, well, I am a big fan of a lot of this stuff, was probably the concealer and the, um, eyeshadow by elf the orange dream sickle that just didn't blend out as well as the other ones did and i don't understand why that's the thing i have so many of these and they blend out beautifully they work so well and this literally had problems i don't know why the item beauty eyeshadow basically just like really a basic type palette it's an everyday palette it's not Great. I mean, it's not wow. It's not, oh, I don't have this in my collection or anything like that. I'm sure plenty of people have a lot of these new colors, a lot of these natural colors in their um, eyeshadow collection. So I don't, I'll play with them one more, but I don't think it's very a necessary eyeshadow for me to have. I have my collection because of it being so basic and I have these colors over and over again. So may not be one that will actually stay in my collection or stay with me. Um, I like the Lash um, Lash Blast Fusion. It did um, do the same thing as the one, the green tube. Same concept. I mean, I kind of like the brown. I feel like they're less harsh, but it didn't course for my lashes and everything but again I'll try stuff on my own and all that but that's everything trying out somewhat new makeup I try to make it have it tried out before from different brands and all that but if you guys like it don't forget to like comment subscribe and give it a thumbs up and hit the notification bell that way you guys know I upload every weekend and Wednesday and I'll see you guys next time in my video till then have a lovely day or night or wherever you guys are Bye.